In this video, I attempted to spend the entire night at my local lake inside this human hamster ball and things went extremely wrong. There he goes. All right, everyone, we just set sail. As you can see, the sun is setting behind me and it is about to get dark very, very soon. I'm starting to drift a little bit away from uh, my dad, but nevertheless, we're doing this thing, baby. This is gonna be a crazy challenge. I'm trying to relax and not run around too much because I don't wanna run out of air too quickly. I honestly have no idea how much air I'm gonna have in this thing. I'm already sweating and we were only five minutes into this challenge. Right now, you know, I'm not too nervous, but uh, it's gonna get dark very, very soon, and I'm literally not gonna be able to see anything except for a few street lights. Now, before it gets dark, I am gonna show you what I packed in my little uh, survival kit here. I got some uh, trail mix in case I get hungry tonight, as well as some chocolate pudding. I was really excited to have some of this pudding today, guys, but unfortunately I forgot a spoon, so I guess I'm just gonna use my hands for that. I got a Slim Jim. If it does happen to get cold tonight, I did bring this uh, little blanket here. I have gotten questioned by the local police at this lake once before, but uh, the only thing that I'm worried about right now is getting lost at night or if any snapping turtles were to try to like bite this ball. This is brutal. Bad news everyone. I was getting swept to the other side of the lake. So I started running and now I'm extremely out of breath. I'm feeling a little bit of water in the bowl. Not much, but a little bit. I don't know how much air I'm gonna have in this thing, but I'm not giving up quite yet, baby. We're gonna try to make it all night long in this human hamster ball. One of our last videos that we're gonna be filming in Western New York. All right, everyone, there is definitely a leak in this bowl because I've been hearing uh, a little bit of air entering the bubble for the last few minutes now. The sun is almost set. If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to the channel for weekly bangers. I mean, who else is spending the entire night in a freaking death trap like this? I really don't know. I'm having second thoughts about this video. It's like, what happens if I start running out of air at night? I don't think the current's that bad at this lake, but if it does pick up and I get lost, it literally could be over for me, you guys. As I mentioned earlier in the video, the only way that I can really get out of this thing is from the outside. Someone has to unzip the ball. Now, uh, in case there is an emergency, I do have a knife, but I don't want to get everything in this ball soaking wet, including my phone, which I'm filming on right now. As you guys know, I don't really f with beavers, so uh, I'm getting a little nervous. I'm hearing some noises over there in the water. I don't think there's anything really, you know, bigger than some geese, a snapping turtle. Uh, I'm not in Florida yet, so we don't have to worry about alligators. My dad left like 15 minutes ago. I'll see you later, Dad. Hi. So uh, I'm freaking out right now. I'm trying to control my breathing. The water looks so murky right now, I can barely see it. Hopefully the Lapkus monster does not dwell in these waters. Otherwise, I'm going to be toast. I think my best option right now is to lay down for a little while and try to sleep this off, see what time I wake up, if I can even fall asleep in here. And uh, I will keep you guys updated as we get closer to midnight. This challenge is absolutely brutal. I, I just feel unsafe knowing that I don't have control over my own body in a way right now. You know, if I was in a boat, I could steer another direction if something happened, but I'm literally just in this huge ball. As you guys can see, we got a lot of water in here and uh, I'm sweating. I'm gonna be honest, I don't know how much longer I'm gonna be make it throughout this challenge. I'm very paranoid. You know, I don't want something to happen to me where I have uh, no one to call. I'm on the verge of calling my dad and uh, having him come down here. Aside from my phone, you know, I really, I'm just alone out here at this point. I think I'm gonna have to pull an El Chapo and bust out of this thing because the lack of air is getting absolutely ridiculous. I'm extremely paranoid, and uh, you know, I'm just trying to look out for my own safety. This is going to be very risky. I have to make sure that I make a precise cut in the ball, because you know, if I lean forward and water starts filling up, I honestly could drown out here. Who knows what's down there, but uh, I would rather get absolutely soaked than sit in this ball any longer. everyone I have escaped the ball and now I'm attempting to swim back to shore 
I'm done. As you guys can see, I just took a massive L on this lake here, my hamster bowl, $300 hamster bowl, ruined. Had to slice a hole in it. Made it about four hours in this challenge. It is what it is. If you guys haven't already, make sure to drop a sub. Comment down below what crazy challenges you guys want to see me do in Florida. That is right. I am moving to Florida in about two days officially. This has been Claw Quest, and I'll see you guys in the next.